Hello again, and this is part three of our motivating Bible moments in this week of mental health awareness. And today I wanted to reflect on the prophet Elijah, and he's in the Old Testament in the book of Kings, and he's seen as really one of the greatest prophets that there, there was. And his story, he kind of, he's called by God to do, to do lots of different things. And where we meet him in his story here, he's kind of found himself a number of enemies because he's doing God's will and really showing some people up. And these people want to get rid of him. So where we meet him on his story, he's just about to go on the run in fear of his life. And this is what it says in 1 Kings in chapter 19. Elijah went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a solitary tree. He asked that he might die. It is enough. Now, O Lord, take my life, for I am no better than my ancestors. Then he lay down under the tree and fell asleep. Suddenly, an angel came and touched him and said to him, wake up and eat. He looked and there at his head was a cake baked on hot stones and a jar of water. He ate and drank and lay down again. The angel of the Lord came a second time, touched him and said, get up and eat. Otherwise, the journey will be too much for you. He got up and ate and drank. Then he went in the strength of that food for 40 days and 40 nights to Horeb, the Mount of God. Now, I think that passage is amazing because it reminds us of the simplicity of self-care. That actually, sometimes all we need is a nap and something nice to eat. And that's biblical. It's biblical to te teaching, to tell us. Sometimes you just need a nap and something nice to eat. And it just encourages us to actually, in those times of hard work, that actually we do deserve rest as well. And so I encourage you and really recommend to you to make sure that you are taking rest and when you can, find yourself maybe a treat, whether that be a donut or brownies, whatever it may be, just to re lift, really lift you up again and keep you going on this journey. So for now, I'll let you go and have your rest and your treat. And I'll be checking back in tomorrow with another piece of motivating Bible moments. Take care for now.